what happens when, when a congregation sings with a pipe organ, they have this, this sound that, that isn't pushed at them, but it supports them in their singing. It actually, it, it becomes sort of a, a part of them. There's, there's no way of reproducing that sound. You can't, you can't capture it, you know, by recording it. Well, I'm John Nordley and I own the JF Nordley Company. We, we build pipe organs for churches, actually for churches, for schools, for individuals. If it's built right, the organist can play music from centuries of literature that's been written for the pipe organ. The legacy of the instrument, I, I think of it quite a bit. I've been to instruments, I have played instruments, looked at instruments that are uh, almost a thousand years old, that are still in existence, and they are absolutely fantastic instruments. I enjoy building something that I, I assume or I, I think will outlive what, you know, my time on this earth. And that's a very important thing to me, you know, to be able to, to do a craft, you know, where people will be enjoying it for many years to come. Every part is manufactured, you know, but when it can be manufactured in a small shop using very simple equipment as the original pipe organs, it makes for an instrument that can last for many, many years. You know, whereas if you use wood that can be put together with simple hand tools and glue, it can be built by anybody. It can be replaced by anybody. It's one of the, the beautiful things about it. You know, we use simple materials to build instruments that will last for generations. You might think of a pipe organ as a living, breathing sort of animal. It has lungs, it has breath. It's got expression that, that the organist puts into it. When the wind goes through the pipe, it's an enveloping sound that sort of, that surrounds you. Nothing will make that sound except the real thing. Mm -hmm.